The Cybrarian presents Norse Myths Freya Suitable for all ages Images by Steiner Engeland Freya, or Freak, is the goddess of love and beauty, lust and gold, magics, horror and death. Her name means Lady. She is not of the Aesir, the gods of Asgard, but of the Vanir, the gods of Vanheim. There were wars between the Aesir and the Vanir, but Freya, her brother, and her father were sent to Asgard as token of truce, as the Aesir sent gods to the Vanir in return. And after the great war ended, Freya stayed in place of honor. It was Freya who taught magics to Odin and the rest of the Aesir, and this gives her great standing. When an offering is made to the gods, she and her father are the priest and the priestess of these offerings. And if you die glorious in battle, you may first be chosen to sit with her in Sesrumnir. If not, Odin then may take you to Valhalla. Sesrumnir on the field of Volkwagner is said by some to be a great hall, and by others to be a ship, but all agree it is fast and beautiful. The Skald Snorri tells us that Freya's favoured, Otar, is missing. She would go out searching for him while weeping, and her tears that fell upon the ground became gold, while her tears that fell into the sea became amber and are known as Freya's tears. Freya travels the worlds in many ways. There is her chariot, drawn by two great dark cats. There is her cloak of falcon's feathers that lets her fly across the worlds and is spoken of often as she willingly loans it to the other gods and goddesses in Asgard when they need to fly to one of the nine realms swift. And there is her boar, Hildesvini, 
Bätelswein. Freya called upon the giantess, Hindla, that they should journey to Valhalla to find the lineage of Otar, her missing love. They travel together, Freya upon her boar, and Hindle upon the great wolf, and they learned much. Then Freya threw off the guise of Hildesvini to reveal Otar, for he had made a great wager against the terrible berserker. Angantir, for all he had. And as Hotar hawked as a man again, he was given a draft, a draft of memory, so that he could recall all he had heard of his own history as he carried Freya in his boar's shape, and the wager was won. Though it did cause Loki to make jest that Freya's love was a pig that she would ride in public. <laughs> It is said that Freya broke this insult well, but she did warn Loki that she knew his fate, for in her magics she could perform the cedar, and in her weavings she could see the fate of all. For she has seen the end of days, the Ragnarok, when the frost giants shall leave Jotunheim to spread their ice across the world, and Fenrir, the great wolf, will break free from his magic chains and devour parts of the earth and where the final battle would be fought upon the field of Vigard, Odin leading his chosen from Valhalla, and Freya leading hers from Sesrumnir. But the fate of Loki is a tale for another time. This is all we have for now, but these tales never really end, as long as the skulls sing and the tales are being told. Until you find your way this way again, good journey. Thank you for listening. For updates, follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell.